Flight NZ849, Air New Zealand Wellington International Airport to Sydney's Kingsford Smith International. On Wednesday the 8th of November 2017, 3.40 in the afternoon, 3 hours and 45 minutes duration. We took off 9 minutes late and landed 38 minutes early. That's pretty speedy. We left from gate 46 and taxied for 10 minutes. Gate 46 is on the north end of the terminal building. Wellington has one runway, we took off on that, to the north on runway 34. After takeoff, we turned and tracked to the west, and I got some great views out of the Queen Charlotte Sound, and then farewell spit. Just wait till we get there, it's pretty cool. So pretty. Okay, into the meal. There was a choice of chicken or beef, I got the beef. So there's the main meal, a bun, and vanilla ice cream, yum yum. Let's start with the main. There was a beef stew, some rice, and some beans. The stew was good, and the ratio of stew to rice was pretty much perfect. The beans were fresh and yummy. All in all, good work, eight out of 10. Onto the bun. The butter came from New Zealand. Awesome! It was soft and easy to spread. The bun was fresh and soft on the inside, but a little bit tough on the outside. Not like chewy like a baguette, and not like crunchy like crunchy bread. Just sort of tough. You know what I mean. All in all, a little bit above average. 6 out of 10. And for pudding, there was ice cream. I quite like ice cream, and I actually have a real thing for vanilla. So premium vanilla bean ice cream from Capiti in New Zealand. Yum, one of my favourite, favourite things. Turns out 100 mils of ice cream really is quite a lot. It was hard work, hard work. But I did it, look I did it. Yeah, <laughs> 7 out of 10, nice one Air New Zealand. Now I'm not going to beat around the bush on the cup of tea. It was just a cup of tea. I'm going to get a bit of fairly pedestrian, 5 out of 10. But there was a full bar service, and that's pretty cool. I only had water, but I could have had anything. That's awesome. 7 out of 10. So let's see how that all went with the meal average. The main had an excellent ratio between all of the components and pretty good beans. That's an 8. The bun just didn't quite do it for me. That's a 6. Ice cream, yeah, 7. Hot beverage, what are you going to do? 5. Cold beverage, full bar with a top selection, that's a 7. That's an average of 6.6. .6. Through the magic of rounding, that becomes 7. Which, to be honest, feels about right. I feel like I was a bit hard on that bun. Good work in New Zealand. Nice meal. Felt like the perfect size for a three and a half hour jaunt. Air New Zealand picked up this plane, ZKOJA, when it was brand new in 2003. And they had it painted up with hobbits and stuff. And it was configured with eight business class seats and 144 economy. Three years later, they transferred it over to Freedom Air International, which was their budget airline. When they stopped doing the whole budget airline thing, they transferred it back to Air New Zealand. A couple of years later, when the lease changed, they reconfigured it to be 100% economy class which had stayed forever until I got on it and at that point it was a little bit old and tired. 
18 months after this flight, Air New Zealand returned it to Macquarie Air Finance, who then, through Avian Express, leased it out to Sun Express in Turkey. And now, it looks like this, and is jam-packed with 180 economy seats. So from that whirlwind history, you'll recall that in 2017, when I took this flight, this plane was black and white Air New Zealand colours with 168 economy class seats. And it had been configured like that for about seven years. And I was in seat 5 air it had seat back touch screens for video with a tethered remote control. Over here it had those twiddly things for airflow as well as buttons for the light. There was plenty of space in the overheads and the seats were okay for 3 or 4 hours. You wouldn't want to do much more. So a well maintained plane whose fit out is literally months from the end of its useful life. That's a 6 out of 10. Ouch! So we approached from the southwest, presumably thinking we were going to land to the west, but then they got us to hook around to the north and come back down. We landed on runway 16L and then taxied up to gate 56 of the international terminal. So it looks like they're landing on 16L and taking off on 16R. There goes one. Bye! You know you're in Australia when someone's been doing burnouts on the grass. We saw surprisingly few aircraft movements as we taxied around. 699 flights per day. I would have expected some sort of excitement. But no, not much. This one coming in. That's about it. And here we are at gate 56, a mere three hours and six minutes later. Welcome to Australia. There's a plane with a kangaroo on it. I was only here a couple of days, so I didn't have any check-in baggage. So I've got no footage of picking that up. Customs was pretty straightforward because we have e-gates and I just waved my passport in front of the thing. And then I went and got an Opal Pass from the booth, went downstairs to the train station that's inside the airport, caught a train to the city. Well actually, I went over the bridge to Chatswood because that's where I was staying for the next couple of days. But I did go to the bridge and the pointy thing, because that's what Sydney's all about, right? That's all there is. So how average was this trip? The meal was nice and tasty, the bun was okay, but the ice cream was fantastic. Came out at a 7. The plane, ah, uh, 6. That's 6.5. Which is going to get rounded up to 7, which is quite good because I felt a bit mean about that plane score to be honest. An above average trip. Nice one Air New Zealand. Please subscribe and watch every single video we ever make.